Hello there, people. Uh, this is Mr. Critic, and you're watching my let's play of Panzer Corps. Yeah, finally. I know, I know, guys and girls. Um, I'm sorry, you know. First, um, well, I needed a little, needed a little break uh, from Alping. Also had some problems with um, actually loading the game. Um, uh, I was then away, not at my computer, and also had a little bit, you know, of an illness, not influenza or anything, but but most of all, um, I was lazy, and I also. <laughs> couldn't, you know, prepare myself to actually play this game. Um, I'm especially uh, sorry, my dear friend, my brother, uh, Robert Eugene, aka Smart Alec. Uh, I was bitching to him, you know, <laughs> over <coughs> Facebook how much I hate Panzer Corps and how easy the game is. But uh, actually, I don't think it's an easy game, but it is. Even though some will say it is very similar to Panzer General, I disagree. You know? Some of the things that made me superb Panzer General player are now totally useless in Panzer Corps. It's like if you... I don't know, if you want to learn a language that's similar to yours. You have some advantages because of it. Um, I don't know, like... Slovenian and Croatian language. Um, some words mean the same thing, others are a little bit different, uh, they have different meanings, and the point is, if today I, I would decide to learn Chinese, I would have no previous experience, and this would make it more difficult, but in the end, you know, when I would learn Chinese, there would be you know, no what's the word? Transfer or crossover, I, I'm not sure. But what I mean is that if the rules are completely different, then you just have to learn the new rules. But if the rules are somewhat the same and somewhat different, you have a problem. Uh, for example, in Panzer Corps, one thing that I believe I was especially good at in Panzer General was uh, the unit movement. Because in Panzer General you had to, you know, move and shoot or shoot and move, you know, in, not in the same turn, you know what I mean. Immediately after shooting you had to move, immediately after, mo after moving you had to shoot. If you, uh, if you would choose another unit then the part that you haven't done with the previous one is lost. But in Panzer Corps, you know, you can move click all of the units, uh, do, e do everything you want, and then shoot. It's still possible with the unit that had, has moved previously. Also, artilleries, for goodness sake, you can actually move an artillery into a position... Oh, god damn it! Don't fuck with me. I'm getting colors. I hate this shit. Uh, you can actually move an artillery into a position and then shoot, then fire. Again, something you could not do in Panzer General. What else? Okay, uh, need to relight my smoke. Uh, yeah. Then you have these strange rules about upgrading. Um, some units you can upgrade, you know, with lower cost, uh, but 
for example if you're upgrading from Panzer type 2 to Panzer type 3 you have to pay the full price which is totally illogical because if you you know give away a unit and replace it with another one you should get some prestige bonus for it but no, no in Panzer Corps this is impossible only you know uh, I don't know Panzer 2 to another type of Panzer 2 you you know pay only the difference between them and more and more and more and more also the units I was counting the most on like uh, tactical bombers and you know now I are, now they are much less useful also the suppression thing uh, I get the feeling that the people that um, designed Panzer Corps sort of combined the experience of Panzer General 1 and Panzer General 2 uh, you know I'm not sure uh, you suppress a unit by artillery fire for example and then uh, if you attack it uh, with the next unit you get uh, the unit is suppressed you know but after this second attack then again a unit is not suppressed uh, no logic in it um, I don't know so many things that are much different from Panzer General also uh, combined attack uh, if you you know surround an enemy unit and you get well then you lower its initiative uh, yeah it makes sense but you know still again different from Panzer General however like I said I will do it I will do the LP of Panzer Corps um, let me just tell you what I did so far I did the tutorial the whole one and I will do it again um, just to, you know to encompass the entire game in this LP um, so yeah Mr. Critic is back um, Panzer Corps as promised but the good things are well graphics graphics is not that bad uh, I thought it was worse you know but uh, it's only because people that were uh, doing an LP of uh, Panzer Corps were you know opting for um, well different resolution uh, and I couldn't see shit because you know I have a very poor eyesight but it can be better now this is the main screen after the introduction you have a library about unit classes terrain movement I'm not sure if I should actually you know um, go through it uh, this is why I'm counting on your feedback we can go through each and everything from the library um, now load the game I actually deleted um, all of the previous saves but like I said I only did a tutorial uh, I think there are six missions um, so yeah multiplayer not for now uh, new game so these are the options um, this is the original uh, actually Panzer Corps uh, I believe it is called Panzer Corps Wehrmacht uh, but if I'm wrong please do not hold it against me so you have Fallweiss, Nach Osten, Für, uh, sorry, Für den Sieg und uh, Sieg um jeden Preis. But the one thing that we will start with is actually the tutorial campaign. If you are new to the game, please play the tutorial at least once. Well, this is the second time. Welcome to our Dresden training ground, Sir Oberst. You are here to master a revolutionary new form of warfare, Blitzkrieg. 
Over the coming days, we will instruct you on the rules of warfare and test your metal in several training exercises. Should you successfully complete your training, you will be given command of a newly formed Panzer Corps. But first, you must earn it. For your first training exercise, you will use the forces at your disposal to seize control of your objectives. In all of our training simulations, the cities and airfields you control will be marked red, while cities your enemy controls are marked as blue. Once you have taken control of all primary objectives, the exercise will be complete. You may wish to destroy supporting units located adjacent to your objectives to make the battle less costly for your forces. But remember that in Blitzkrieg, a slow victory is no victory at all. We will be watching your progress from two observation bunkers. Do not disappoint me. So this is actually, um, I don't know, probably our superior officer. Uh, Herr Oberst, uh, I think this is, I'm, absolute, I'm almost positive that this means colonel. Uh, yeah, and um, I don't know, you German friends, please tell me. But I think this is a pretty shitty accent. I, I have spoken with a lot of uh, German people in English, uh, you know during my previous job and um, this is actually not the correct accent at least from my experience um, but like I said I could be wrong it's been uh, a while okay so proceed uh, axis turn 1 10 victory condition